the RBA board may be stripped of its power to decide interest rates. We reveal the mining stock that took off today and the animated movie that lost 300 million. Trading Up, a collaboration by The West Australian and Grapha. I'm Sarah Hewan. In a bombshell development, the RBA board is set to be overhauled and a new body created to set interest rates. Treasurer Jim Chalmers released a review of the RBA today and it was scathing. Among the 51 recommendations was a push to put more economic experts on a new separate board to set rates and cutting the number of board meetings to eight per year. In the firing line was RBA Governor Philip Lowe, who's been under attack over successive rate hikes despite telling homeowners during the pandemic not to expect rates to rise until 2024. The review also took aim at the composition of the current RBA board, which is mostly made up of business people, saying it was not up to scratch. Expect sweeping changes to come into effect from July next year. Rio Tinto has smashed its first quarter iron ore export record in the first three months of this year. The mining giant's Pilbara-based operation said ore exports surged 16%. With countries like China gobbling up our iron ore, the problem may be keeping up with demand. Rio might have hit record export numbers, but it's not digging up iron ore fast enough. Sounds like there's going to be some busy miners in the Pilbara. Australia's lithium king Chris Ellison's Mineral Resources and other shareholders in Essential Metals have voted down a proposed $136 million takeover offer for the Lithium Junior by IGO and Tianqi. This has left shareholders of Essential Metals wondering whether MinRes will launch its own offer or seek to engage more closely with Essential over its lithium projects. Moving on to the market and Graffa's dark horse of the day is Tilix Pharmaceuticals. The stock has shot up over 30% in the last 30 days as its radiation treatment for diseases like cancer proved popular. And still to come, the Disney movie that lost a massive 300 million and that junior mining stock that skyrocketed today. Stick around. The competition watchdog has rejected Qantas's acquisition of FIFO airline carrier Alliance Aviation. The regulator said the takeover would result in the resources industry taking a hit with higher prices for regional flights. Spinning the wheel for the biggest movie bomb of 2022 and the winner is Disney's animated space flick Strange World. Despite actors Jake Gyllenhaal and Lucy Liu on the bill, it lost an eye-watering 300 million. Strange World lost more than the Margot Robbie flop, Amsterdam. The bad news for Disney, that one was theirs too. Time to resurrect Mickey Mouse, maybe? And finally, that mining success story you've been waiting for. Better than expected results from Moho Resources Rare Earths Project, northwest of Esperance, saw its shares go into orbit. You can find more business news content on thewest.com.au. Or to see all the data and insights behind this video, check out graffa.com. Thanks for joining me on this special episode of Trading Up. I'm Sarah Hewan. See you next time.